Hello, internet friends. My name is Bay. This is my forehead and the same shirt because these are all be recorded on the same day. And this in front of you is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, a PS5 light commentary playthrough, but I'm bad. All the things. Let's start exploring our first open world area <clears throat> and probably get lost in the sauce for the next few hours. Open world area have, I guess, what's equivalent to hunts eventually and world intel and like mini bosses and then farming and like and gathering supplies and I don't know a lot of things let's go get lost Employ the same technique I did in 16. Comb the map edges first. <laughs> you know what that metal monstrosity is, don't you? It's a pipeline. Moves Mako pumped in Midgard to the outlying towns and whatever else. You call it a pipeline, but I call it a funnel. One that drains the planet's lifeblood into generous pockets. Mark my words, I'm gonna put a stop to that. Steel do hockey. was a rare herb or a stick. <laughs> we do eventually get to ride chocobos and there are different colored chocobos and different colored chocobos do different things. I've read the field guide. Like any good soldier, local wildlife will only attack while on the hunt or in defense of their territory. Fiends, on the other hand, attack without reason. If they're attacking, what does it matter? 
It matters if your nose can discern their intent before they attack, as I gather yours can't. <laughs> Hard shop. I don't have any gill. Don't overdo it. No more. That'll do. And then I should be playing on dynamic mode. Mobs die so fast, I can't even. Can't even build up enough ATB to steal. <laughs> All the things. Is there loot behind the waterfall? There isn't. <laughs> this is to see red swim. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's on you. Ready when you are. Better cut enough. Summon on this. Watch this. Keep it up. Next time. Get him.
I guess this location might have a mini boss added eventually. That's why the summoning pop up happened. Mills are back. Because obviously. I don't know if there are random box spawns to put Mako shards for hard mode. Getting big Final Fantasy 15 crawled. So Final Fantasy 16 could walk and Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth could run. Vibes. I can't fix these yet. confused. I get a look over here.
Ah. Cloud became one with the life stream for a moment there. Sorry, Red. It's going to get more complicated with time, I imagine. These little open world caches. Do it, Barrett. <laughs> Tifa jumping off that height makes sense, but the absolute Omega Chad. Oh my god. The open world traversal, <clears throat> due to the speed at which the movements happen, is a little janky, but I bet making it super realistic and like slowly vaulting and mantling and clambering and climbing up all this random stuff or doing it on your chocobo probably felt bad. Same thing with when you have a chocobo and you'll just like, -doom -doom, you know, bounce up stuff. But I bet they just made the animations sort of accelerated so that it's just, it doesn't slow you down. You're just always kind of schmoovin'. Because there'll be eventually a lot more reasons to roam around and go through places or you're looking for certain resources or you're doing certain hunts or something like that. So it does feel a little arcadey because they just kind of float and go really fast. I guess the alternative is for it to feel bad and slow, so. Now. There's a Mako crystal over there. Excuse me? Oh, oh. Do Mako outcroppings have rare materials? go in the obviously toxic water. 
It's weird how both the live stream and Mako is helpful and hurtful. Like, it creates materia and it creates life. Or it'll give you Mako poisoning and put you in a coma for the rest of your life. If you have too much of it. It's a very kiss curse thing. Okay, okay, fine. If I just say thing because our our heroes don't know what it is really right now. Aerith does, but Yeah, it makes healing potions to keep you alive, and it also makes poison to kill you. But the same stuff. Elephants? Definitely gotta fill a similar role to Tifa. Where you maybe you can main him like I'm doing in remake hard mode. I do wonder if that same sort of Tifa build will become a thing again in this game. Where you basically have Tifa go infinite and just spam abilities and fill up your party's ATB and so cool they're all here. You actually can see them <clears throat> fighting in the background when you're in combat. <clears throat> they just aren't in the front line. A cash, maybe? to scope out this immediate area just to learn about like little things and then we'll just run over to the I'm sure the quest objective we have is going to be like hey go back to where you just were and do stuff there I'm like all right <laughs> we are also in performance mode not graphics mode because I'm recording in 60 FPS. Not 30. Can you hot swap it? Just curious. You can. You can immediately see the I can see the, uh, the slowdown. Well, Harris textures are definitely noticeable, though.
I would have to change my monitor setting and the recording to do 30 FPS. Otherwise, to use I am so good Red attacks really fast. Make way back to the quest objective. Hitchhikers. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the right to call. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Except today, that is. Afraid the old butte's pulled up lame. Sorry about that. No biggie. We're enjoying the fresh air. Thanks, though. You, uh, know someplace we can hunker down? 
Hmm. Hunker down, you say? Oh. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. You'll just head straight that away toward the swamplands. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. Thank you, Bill. You have an amazing beard. Swing by the ranch once you're done with uh, whatever you got going on. What a beard on that man. Don't overdo it. You need to put it back. Care to try You've read that this game gets funny. Well, there are lots of characters in this chunk of the game. I mean, some of them are in the story trailers for sure. There are some... Like, the closest we got to, like, the silly side... That water is animating really fast. The closest we got to, like, the sillier side of the Final Fantasy VII universe is probably Wall Market with the trio and, like, Don Corneo and stuff. But, no, no, no. This game should have... A lot. No holding back. Keep it together. Burn. Leave it to me. Or don't. I'll show you what I can do. Get him. Okay. That'll do. Go on. We'll make it quick. Come on, team. Leave it to me. Now's our chance. I'll end this. I was never in doubt. Ah. Wait a minute. I was actually worried about that and they immediately solved it. So even your backline players that aren't actively taking part in the three person combat, because you could have everyone else, you know, rooting for you, cheering you on. Yay. They still get AP. I don't know if it's reduced. Like I haven't run it with Tifa yet and she's got 50 on her ice materia for while I was open world running around. So everyone, so all of your materia here will gain. So we still have Yuffie and Kate Sith to get in the party. And everyone's materia gains AP. Cloud's Fire's got 50. Oh, nope. It's equal. It just took 50 to level Chakra the first time. Oh, man. I was wondering about that, and now I have the answer. That's so good. Wow, you can level a lot of Materia. Now, I imagine it only comes into play in open world stuff when the whole party's there. I don't know if that'll matter for when we're 
in like more closed off sections or when the party gets split up. Okay, that's awesome. Because in Remake, you only get AP on three people that are in battle. Because the other one or two people just don't exist. That is awesome. Why the parry materia is on red, though. That'll do. Red wants to avoid damage to build vengeance, so that's probably why parry is really good on him. I get it now. I am picking up. about your water basin. Alright, so I'm not half an hour running around like a dingus. Let's go turn in this first little quest. It's important to make sure they've got plenty to eat. You'd be the avalanche, folks. It's okay, I'm on your side. Heard you'd be heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shinra's leaving no stone unturned. Mm -hmm. Might want to hole up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wait your Shinra's forgotten it's even there. Wish there was something more I could do, but I ain't got the space to put y'all up. Swamp's your best bet for now. Seeing more fiends out and about every day. Watch yourselves, you hear? I like that guy's voice. This is awkwardly not inconspicuous. What is it supposed to be in world? Like a... I have no idea. I have no... No gill yet. No economy. No economy. Mm. Oh, I see. It doubles the posting so you don't, so you know it's also available. Getting more HP ups early would be helpful, but it's expensive. This new materia menu. One of the biggest ick points in the remake.
It's neat too that there's a lot of branching paths for how you can build each of the playable characters. But they all also have like a very defined, like some of them have different elemental affinities that they can spec into. Like right off the bat, you can do more stuff with fire with red because he's a cat wolf Charmander. So he has more fire stuff, but he also has wind. Like Cloud has wind and Barret was like lightning. So they have early synergies where like the type of material that they work best with, which is neat. Fire lightning. Art for their folios is so cool. And it also recanonizes the whole manuscript thing from the previous. From Remake, it just exists like a system in the game that has no connection. They just like, this is a thing, but now it's like a direct thing, which is cool. It's important to make sure they've got plenty to eat. Need to be nice and plump so they fetch a high price. So that really didn't do anything besides tell us to go to the swamp. So many doodads.
Magnificent, isn't it? A Republic original. I'll take free cushions. I'm gonna get the most use out of using items and getting my mana back from sitting at a bench. Just playing remake hard mode for so long. Where you have to sparingly use your mana for entire chapters. Using items again now feels like I'm cheating. <laughs> Definitely way more open world than 16 was.
You can see that mountain range in the distance before. Wild charging Aerith into melee is probably not a good idea. Okay, then. Me. Okay. You're up. Now. Let's do this. That was close. Allow me. It's on you. Follow my lead. With me. Ready. A tank. like but definitely an older model from back when they were duking it out with the republic hard to imagine this was once a battlefield and harder still to find land anywhere that hasn't been a battlefield at some point Squirrels? Boy out here do be spinning. Sorry. See you around. The squirrels were in their nests, like their burrow. You hit him with a with a powerful attack to knock him out of their burrow, otherwise they were. That's what that um So the irreversible, the gold bracket means they were, they had a um, barrier on, unless you knock them out of the burrow. Just another one of the crazy amount of additional statuses to learn. But also, yes. The gradual change in the terrain gets a little more like ewy. That's cool. Uh, 
and you have to buy it. Oh, it just automatically brings over your materia. Doesn't even ask you. But it didn't do... weaknesses. Son of Shinra. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Then head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Junon. Sure. Why not? You'd trust these rotting hulks? I mean, we could. Let's not. Hmm. Then maybe. We swim it. <laughs> this swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. But even if you're slow, what? you can rent a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> <laughs> well... Can we rent some birds? Can we? Fine. <laughs> Straight panic. Also, we're gonna fight the big snake because I've played both God of War games, the recent ones. I know who Midgard Stormer is. Does it go? Oh, I guess we're going all the way around this side. <laughs> yeah, very different connotation with that name in Final Fantasy 14. Whereas in 7, it's just Big Snake. Big, big water snake. Whereas in 14, it's the uh, father of all dragons. <laughs> and dragons are also aliens. So why not? Boost is noticeable. 
Don't overdo it. Only the strong survive. Equipped. Oops. Let's go. This. This ends here. Hold on, how does... Oh, you can have your backline folks toss stuff in just for fun? Hold on. Thanks, bud. How does Red use items? Oh, I expected. <laughs> All that materia all leveling up at the same pace. Lovely. Did I just change my party? Oh, I did. Oh. Oh, that's right. That. Uh. Birds. Best be right. Pop-ups. Oh. I wasn't in the, uh, Understanding that Final Fantasy VII needed a crafting system, or a transmuting system, but it does make sense. 
And I wonder if the our ultimate weapons in this are going to require transmuting certain items or, or enemies to farm for things. We shall see. LP survival elements and base building in uh, in the third and final installment. I don't know about that. Base building, I could maybe see. But there's already enough survival elements considering you're already dealing with mana and health and items and crafting. But yeah. This is so Final Fantasy 14 pilled at the same time because you get XP for essentially crafting everything. So you, the game nudges you to craft everything at least once. Which is how it works in, in 14 is each thing you craft. The first time you craft it, you get bonus XP. This is neat. I think you like need at least some sort of a crafting system if you're allowing your player to do open world gathering. Because if you're gonna have open world, what's in the open world? Things to fight, things to gather. Okay. Things to fight, XP experience, items, loot, that kind of stuff. Things to gather, what do you do with the things to gather? Well, you craft stuff. It's kind of the holy trinity. Open world plus crafting plus looting because if you don't have both of those things I feel like you would miss out you know open world with fighting but nothing you're just like okay just a giant walking simulator to the next encounter or something like that so just lightweight enough to get the job done Oh, this is a tree stuff. That was something different. It's quite foggy over here. I was hearing the music change. couldn't see the ostrich sleeping in the grass. <laughs> it's like a... Well, I don't know if you can do chocobo breeding in this game. There's definitely chocobo capturing, but yeah. Because the whole breeding of chocobo stuff in the original was at... Uh, oh! The gold saucer. Oh, I know 
the wall everyone got mad about. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Diegetic game design doesn't bother me. But the thing is, the yellow might be too much, but then part of that argument, we're going to have a little bit of a, a talky point at the end of this one. So I don't have any color blindness, right? So I see all the colors, at least apparently. On friends. Oh my god, look at red. Different color rock layers exist. 100%. Different, different colors of rock is a thing. So the yellow, whatever. But to me, all I would need is like the outcroppings and like the blue. Because the blue cuts through like the gray and red. But part of that whole argument is I think the yellow also helps because then if you have different colorblind settings, that color will then pop or look different to you. Like if you're, you can still see it. Like if you have blue green colorblindness, the bluish, which I was just talking about, wouldn't work. It would look different maybe, but it would kind of blend together. The yellow pops that color off. So even if you don't necessarily see the yellow yellow, it might be a brighter color, so you can still see it. Which is also why I think it's fine. People getting mad about it are just trying to yell into the void or something. We hadn't like, where is this section? Whoops, sorry. This, that's my left. Oh, okay. Orientation was messed up. getting mad about the, the, the quote-unquote yellow paint in video games is just the people yelling about it just they kind of feel like they're just being assholes. Swim in the goo water? Do I want to? Wait, did I just craft a bunch of potions? Oh, I used those potions to make. Oh. Yo! What happened to getting chocobos? Oh. Need the chocobo. <laughs> Squirrels.
satisfying noise. Little windmill ASMR for you. squirrel I mainly jumped down because I wanted to see if you could jump down that far. You could. I know it made Barrett jump down super high earlier, but that was when he was not in control. I didn't know if the player character would be able to just jump that far down. to see you all again and welcome to my humble ranch managed to get your truck fixed indeed i did you must have been my lucky charms she started up right after you left anywho what can i do you for you in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance are we ever need them to get through the swamp lands then you have come to the right place <laughs> Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though, chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. What a character. Hmm? There's something I can help you with? Ah, uh, 
Now that'd be the serpent that lives in the swamp. Longer than a river, quieter than a whisper, and quicker than a lightning bolt. Cause the water to so much as ripple, it'll come barreling after you, gaping maw and all. Ooh, gives me chills just thinking about it. Lucky for you, most chocobos can outrun the devil. Though I'm sure you already knew that. Any man of the road would have heard the tales. And judging by that sword, you've been the subject of a few yourself. Of course you have. If there's one thing I know besides chocobos, it's how to spot a seasoned frontiersman. You might could talk to Billy over in the stables. He'll be happy to tell you all you need to know. You might could? Uh-oh. Some floating foliage. Ten speed. This is so cozy. Chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. <laughs> The thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. 
only cost you a grant. Uh, is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours. Free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico. The hardest-headed bird you'll ever meet. By far. <laughs> and he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle him no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> Y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here. Riding and rearing lessons are on me. Clouds 21. Need something? Start by looking for fresh tracks. Once you spot them, birds are rarely more than a stone's throw away. Birds in the wild are much more skittish than kept ones. Gonna have to be real quiet on the approach, else they'll bolt. Gear serves all sorts of purposes, from the cosmetic to the practical. Can even improve a race bird's performance. Won't cost you a gill. Golden plumes only. Hmm. Good luck wrangling Pico! Chronoagus or Aegis. Huh. What did you to do? Red, come on. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but. He's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <sighs> Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well, but yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault mom and dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they get help! Mm. Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh! Take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. Hmm.
Oh. You can buy crafting materials. doesn't give you all too much trouble. Was it a good stopping point? Thank you for watching. If you've been watching live, of course you can. If you are watching on YouTube right now, link down below or to the entire remake with the deal, Yuffie DLC intermission, all that, all down below. If you've been watching live, you may have watched all of that already, but it's a good, good place to and this one and we'll go find pico next and then probably fight a giant wet snake so thank you for watching see you in the next one those bell peppers look can't believe they knocked over all that stuff oh man